Namaste and welcome back to Grow with the Jan family. Mira Nam Anjali Hey. And today we're so excited to watch Tulsi Gubbard's 2020 Jamash Demi message. Um, she is probably the one and only candidate that we would check that box for in a heartbeat. Yeah. You know, we voted her for her in the primaries and she obviously lost to Biden. But she is one of those people that I feel like um, is for the people, yeah. but she's also for the country. Mm -hmm. right? And definitely for India. Like, you see Kamala Harris, and all she does is talk about her Indian heritage, but what has she really done to speak up against these other things about India? Right. And just because you're a blood relation to India doesn't mean you love the country yeah. or you have that love for the country. Like, Tulsi really has that love for India. She has such a always a peaceful, wonderful message. We've done her Diwali messages. Um, her, her hope is always, you know, love will overcome hate. Light will overcome darkness. She always uses, um, you know, things from Mahabharata and, uh, a Ramayan and and the scripture books like it's just just amazing and we had hoped that she would have been the next president of the United States yeah um and now that she's not we kind of wish Trump would pull her up as his vice president and um that would make a interesting race yeah her against Kamala on the debate table because she crushes Kamala yeah. every time <laughs> We saw it in the news channel. Mm-hmm. Yeah, we've seen a lot of those debates. Um, Tulsi really knows her stuff, and uh, she's a tough cookie, so that's why we like her. But let's watch her wonderful message for Jamashtami, Krishna's birthday. Aloha and namaste. 2020 is certainly a year that will not soon be forgotten. Yeah. For most if not all of us, it has brought about many unexpected changes. Changes to our daily routines, our work, and even our relationships. But whenever we are put into difficult situations, it gives us the opportunity to take shelter in the loving protection of the Supreme Lord, our Supreme Friend. It propels us to reflect upon and draw upon the lessons we've learned from the past and also to consider what changes we can make to live a better life now and in the future. Yeah. So if we take the opportunity to slow down and connect with what really matters, we can enjoy a gentler, more meaningful existence. And the challenges we face today, both as individuals and as a society right now, are tremendous. The uncertainty that this year has brought has made me personally reflect upon the time that I spent deployed in the Middle East. That too was a time in my life when there was danger at every step. Each day brought new uncertainties and likewise, many lives were lost. My shelter then and now has been the Bhagavad Gita, which means Song of God. The Bhagavad Gita spoken by Sri Krishna is full of transcendental wisdom that is as relevant today as it was 5,000 years ago when it was spoken. So on this holy day of Janmashtami, when we celebrate the appearance of Sri Krishna in this world, it is the perfect time to reflect on his sublime instructions, which are like a transcendental lifeline. When we are blown here and there by the strong winds of change, when giant waves are crashing upon us, when we're feeling unsteady, lost, adrift, the Bhagavad Gita offers us guidance and hope. Looking at our problems through the prism of eternality, rather than merely identifying with our temporary material circumstances, gives us an anchor that offers great peace, purpose, and stability through even the most trying of times. May we always be blessed with remembrance of Sri Krishna, his unconditional love, and his transcendental appearance in this world. Jaya Sri Krishna. Such a beautiful message that yeah. she has, you know. And it's so true that you need to look 
to these higher powers like Sri Krishna um, to get yourself through this 2020 I don't know what to call it yeah um, you know it definitely has enlightened us um, even on little things like you know buying less trying to be more self-reliant trying to do more for ourselves you know um, making new foods not eating out you know it's just it has definitely put a huge spin on life you know I lost my job yeah. Um, now I can't go back to work because the kids need to do homeschooling virtually. Um, everything in our lives have changed um, and things have gotten, you know, struggles. There's been some struggles. Yeah. I'm, we, nobody has been sick in our house. I thank God that we have not gotten sick and nobody we know of has coronavirus. We pray for those people who have gotten it, that they get better. Um, and we hope that they find a cure or vaccine something soon so that life can go back to some kind of a normalcy. But, you know, as much as this has been hard, I think it also has opened people's eyes. But I like that she is like, you know, you kind of have to look to the higher, higher powers. Yeah. Um, sometimes you have to let go and, and let God take care of the stuff. Um, because things will get better. Life, yeah. Life will get better. 2020 will be over soon, right? A couple months. Yeah, you just have to get through those struggles. Mm-hmm. Just like Bhagwan Ram. There, mm -hmm. Life is not perfect. And life will never be perfect. And life will never be perfect. But if you have something, you can say, okay, even Bhagwan Ram and Sitama struggled in life. You know, they theirs were different struggles. But, you know, we can all get through this together, yeah. right? Mm -hmm. um, this is the number one reason we would vote for her and vote for her and vote for her again. Um, I hope this is not the only time she runs for the presidential candidate. Um, I almost feel like she needs to have her own party. You know, like she's not hardcore Republican, though she is definitely for the country, but she's not hardcore liberal either, which is, I think, why she got so much slack from the Democrats. Um she's kind of somewhere in the middle like she's definitely has some democratic views but she definitely has some republican views but she definitely can hold her own on the stage um in a debate so she is amazing um and we love hearing her inspirational messages yeah right mm -hmm. So I hope you guys enjoyed this as much as we did. And don't forget to subscribe. And join our wonderful growing Jan family. And we'll see you tomorrow. Bye. Bye.